Hey guys, um, today I'm gonna do a top 10 Mac app review version 2. Um, I have downloaded a lot of apps since version 1, so I think I should share. Um, my number 10 app is going to be Caffeine. Keeps your computer on, so if you start it, if you press this button, your computer will never fall asleep, like it'll never go black, it'll stay the exact same brightness. But if you turn it off, then it'll just go normally. Um, <clears throat> you can also quit it. Um, that's practically caffeine. It just keeps your computer awake. Um, number nine is... Um, where is it? Boot changer. You can <clears throat> change what your boot logo looks like. I have some picture, right, pictures right here. Um, you can like drag it on and your boot logo will look like this. Um, Happy Mac. And yeah, that's practically what this is. Um, <clears throat> number eight is um, Grab it. Grab it. Once you do this, you can like see stuff, and you can zoom in. I don't want to zoom in too close because it could hurt your eyes, but it gives me headaches when I zoom in too close. But you can. It's actually really cool. I got it from the Mac App Store. Um, yeah. All you have to do is press Escape to cancel that out. My number seven is Sketchbook Express. I also got this from the Mac App Store. So you can practically just draw anything that you want. Um, you can undo it. And just practically do this. Um, it's good for, like, if you're making an app, you can, like, make a logo, um, whatever it's called, uh, make a logo for it. Um, my number five is, Virus Bar Express, Virus Barrier Express, um, I know Macs can't get viruses, but they can still get, like, spyware keyloggers. Um, th I know those are viruses, but you, um, like, more people are trying to code viruses for Macs because Macs can't get viruses at the moment. But, yeah. And so that takes about 20 minutes to complete. And it actually goes very quick. And... My number five, I'll just do five again, I don't care if it's not five yet, but <clears throat> Dropbox. You can upload your website to Dropbox and you can get your website online. It's extremely easy. Um, number four is Game Salad. Game Salad makes iPhone apps, Mac apps, whatever you want. Um, you can do crazy ball wall or something. I don't care. I'll just do this one. No, I'm just going to do the ball wall one really quick. <clears throat> and then you can preview. And this is your game that you have so far. This is just a template. And you can edit the game and publish it. But you, it costs a hundred dollars to get an, uh, an account to publish. It doesn't take a hundred. It doesn't cost a hundred dollars to make an account. It costs a hundred dollars to make a developer account for this right here. So yeah, it's pretty fun to do. You can do like these types of games and preview
you can play your games too, if you didn't already know that. But, um, number three, um, number three would have to be Geekbench. Geek Geekbench, I have not registered yet, but it scans your computer and um, tells you how fast it is and all the info that you should know about your computer. Just give it a minute to scan. Okay, my score was five six four five four five. My highest has been six thousand, I think. Yeah, most likely. But as you can see, you can see bar graphs. Um, I have no idea what the green stuff is. I think it's come. Um. Yeah, that's practically it. It tells you information about your computer. Number two is, um, I would have to say, clean my Mac. I know I did this in my other, other, um, Mac thing, but look at that. It's cleaned 800, uh, 8 gigabytes of my computer's memory and stuff. <clears throat> it's actually just like amazing. So while that loads, I'll do number one. Number one or two, whatever. VMware Fusion. I did purchase this. I did purchase my Windows license. Um just wait for it to load. You can just see Windows once it boots up. See? You can see Windows. Um, uh, that's my my program, editing program or whatever. So yeah, that's Windows. Um, I'm going to make a tutorial on how to get this. Close that. <coughs> um, it has found a lot of system junk files and stuff like that that I really don't need on my computer that I can delete. And it's almost done. So, leave in the comments how you're liking the Mac App Store. Um, I'm gonna do a review on it later. Um, I really do like it. It's like way easier to find apps, and the apps are really cheap. Come like like if you want a really good app, it's gonna be expensive, but that's just what you get for good quality. Um, yeah. So it's done, let's clean it, see how much that goes up. Just went up one gigabyte. Still cleaning. <clears throat> Doo -doo. So it cleaned a total of 685.02 megabytes in one time. I bet you if you keep doing that, um, you'll get a lot done. But yeah, um, that completes this. Um, thanks for watching.